Hey guys, I'm Rachel Castile and welcome to Typology Corner. Today I'm starting a series on the cognitive functions and um, this is a concept of mental processes in objective personality and the MBTI of um, processes in our mind that we are prioritizing. We all have access to all of them, but um, we are prioritizing a few over the others. And today I'm gonna focus on extroverted sensing. Um, in objective personality, this is considered an, uh, an observer function. So observers are focused on taking in information. Uh, deciders are about making decisions. So uh, extroverted sensing is not wanting to make a decision on what it's taking in, just purely observing the information in of itself. Um, extroverted sensing is considered a gathering function. So it is connected to the human need of gathering and not organizing. It is extrovertedly focused on new things that it doesn't already have in its bag. And it is out looking for new things, new data. So sensing is about just the data of something. It's not the pattern. It's not connecting it to something. It's just purely the five sense, um, five senses, um, being observed. So it's, it could be listening to new music, uh, watching a new movie, um, reading a new book, reading an article about something that I don't already know. It's a brand new experience. It's going to a new city. It is, it is engaging the five senses in a new way. Um, it has an inclination to take in something that it doesn't already have. Um, uh, this function being in a savior state in a person, um, they are highly inclined towards the new. And um, another aspect of extroverted sensing is proving with facts. We are inclined, I say we, I'm an ESTP, so my dominant function is extroverted sensing. So um, I am very inclined to um, want to get more information before believing a concept, believing a theory, believing um, just about anything. Like, show me the details, show me the research. Where'd you get this from? Where'd you source this from? Okay, I can see now that I've got these 10 things that I can observe that are really like, you know, real in reality. I'm like, oh, that does point to that concept you just said, you know? Um, that, uh, can't think of something as an example right now, but yeah, it's, um, extroverted sensors are very inclined to look for the facts in order to prove things and to not just make assumptions on things. They understand and have the ability to make an assumption, but they're much more focused on the what, like what is it instead of why, um, what is this about? What are the details? Show me uh, the research, the data, what is, what are the statistics on this? What, you know, just give me all the information on this that I can observe. And then from having looked at it all, it's like, oh, I can tell that a pattern is emerging in the middle of all of this information. That is how an extroverted sensor is inclined to think. Um, so yeah, it respects the data first and then gets to the why or the concept later. Um, a big proponent of it is being addicted to the new. So um, even in my own life, like I generally don't want to rewatch a movie I've already seen. And I, I realize there's value in doing that. But like my first instinct is like, oh, I already saw that. I already know that. It's not that really I know everything about it. It's just like, oh, I already heard about that. So like, I want to hear something new. I already know that, right? But I'm really, it's more so the addiction to the new, more so than really having a well-built memory or understanding internally. Extroverted sensing uh, in a dominant place is just wanting something it hasn't experienced. So it can be an addiction to the new experience, thinking that, you know, the answer to something is found in a new experience, which isn't always true, but this is the inclination of an extroverted sensor. So that's kind of a general overview of the function. Like I feel like that's kind of the core of what uh, this function is about. Again, it's not about making a decision. It's just taking in new as it is. Um, let's see what else. Um, 
I can be uh, very attuned to my environment. I think that's a very good thing to bring up that um, I notice what's going on around me. Um, if things change or something is happening, like somebody gets up, that's going to get my attention. I might have to like resist it and tell myself like, Hey, don't look over there, but I notice it, you know, a light flickers or somebody says something or like things happening in my environment really can pull for my attention very easily. So that's something I've had to learn self-control with that. I don't just follow S E to wherever just the, the shiny carrot in front of me. Um, yeah, so these functions all start to work together as you, you know, it's good to use other functions and not just the ones that are your saviors. So you can be more balanced and overcome certain negative things, negative tendencies that I could have, you know, fallen into by having this function as a dominant function for me as an ESTP. Um, but yeah, um, I would say I kind of have said this, but one of the biggest things uh, and recognizing somebody who has extroverted sensing is needing the facts, needing the details to believe, needing more details. No, explain yourself. That's not clear enough. That's not clear enough. I need it more clear. Um, yeah, we almost have like a demand for clarity and, um, extroverted sensors tend to talk very clearly because that's the level of clear that they have sought out and achieved for themselves that they're like, Hey, I'm giving you clarity because I demanded this level of, un you know, clarity on something. So I'm going to give it to you too. Um, that you almost don't have to make read between the lines to understand what I'm saying, because I'm saying it so clearly that I'm like, Hey, I gave you all the information. I gave you all the data on this. Um, that's one way to notice. Um, if you're listening to somebody, you know, uh, who's like strong in introverted intuition, which is the opposite of extroverted sensing. Um, it's a lot of like theories, a lot of concepts, a lot of like, this is just what's going on. This is truth. Um, uh, this is what's going to happen. It's like, how do you know that? Oh, I just know. Right. Um, extroverted sensor is like, well, there's this, 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 and this, and this, and this, and this. And I look at all of those. I'm like, yeah, that does point to that, that possibility, you know? So an extroverted sensor will build possibilities off of lots of information. So it's a very educated guess. So it's not even really, you know, they're not really trusting assumptions alone. They're like over proving the assumption with facts. So, um, the extroverted sensors path to getting to a prediction is so detailed that they're probably right. Um, considering they wouldn't actually leap, you know, would never leap in an observation and go, you know what? I, I, they won't guess, I guess that's a real testament of somebody who has high extroverted sensing. Um, so yeah, another thing I'll explore in being an extroverted sensor, I have really loved just like new music, new experiences. I've loved to travel. Um, I think these things are very much correlated to the extroverted sensing. I mean, other people can enjoy these things as well, but for, for the reason of like gathering, uh, just to go in on the human need of gathering that is highly attached to this function, uh, people who are for sure dominant, they have high gather need in their life, um, of wanting something new. So, um, there's a disrespect for known information. It's like, um, Oh, I've already been there. So I don't want to go there again. I want to go somewhere I haven't been, you know, I want to try some new food. I want to watch a new movie. I want to go to a new city. I don't want to go vacation where I've already been. Um, I'm not that nostalgic in that way. It's like, oh, I want a new experience. Um, yeah. Um, I love trying new food. Um, just interesting conversations, like talking about something I haven't talked about before or, uh, new friends, new connections, just new experiences all over. Like something that is intriguing mentally that's new for me is, uh, very interesting to me. Like just getting in a really good conversation about something that's making me think about new things is very intriguing to me because I, um, I love when somebody else is bringing creativity in my life, 
because it's I just like dig holes into what they're talking about because I'm like, oh, give me all the facts about that. Give me all the facts. It like triggers me to want to research when I get around people who are um, bringing up something that makes me want to then go and really look into it. So, um, yeah, I, I love research. Um, I'm an ESTP, so, um, not all people would say everything that I'm saying just because they're extroverted sensors, but, um, I love to understand things. I love, uh, yeah, understanding new things, I guess. Um, Let's see what else. Um, I'm highly attuned to the details of something if I'm focused on it. If I'm not focused on it, I like I'm missing it all. So I don't want to say because I'm an extroverted sensor, I'm catching everything. It's funny. My husband will be like, you say you catch everything, but like you're totally missing all of this. I'm like, yeah, because I wasn't focused on it, but I'm catching everything about what I'm focused on <laughs> essentially. So yeah, that's a bit of a, uh, I can be in the zone. Like, Hey, this is what I, I'm fixated on. So it's, think of it that way. It's like extroverted sensing is like whatever I put my eyes on, whatever I put my attention on, I'm catching every single detail about it. And, um, I am like extracting all the information out of whatever I'm observing. So, um, yeah, whatever, uh, whether it's people or technology or I'm researching my laptop, what are all the details about the MacBook? Like, what are all the details about this guitar that I'm about to buy? Like I will learn every aspect about it. Um, that's my like doing the research, getting the data. So just think of extroverted sensing as getting all of the data on something. And, um, yeah, um, I have a high inclination to like, be like hyper focus, hyper focus, all or nothing, all or nothing. And it's like, whatever I'm like zeroed in on, like that's where I'm at, you know? And, um, I do love having things that I love to, you know, like interest and things that's really, um, captured me enough to research and to really develop my understanding around things. Um, but yeah, not to elaborate too much. I just wanted to make the point of, um, taking in the new, taking in data. That's what extroverted sensing is all about. It's, uh, highly inclined to disregard known, go toward new, and this can be applied to so many things. Think of all the things we could do, uh, in our life. Um, we're all so diverse in how we would use this function based on our interests, desires, uh, function order. Um, it all changes it a bit, but I think this is a good picture of what extroverted sensing is. So yeah, that is it for this video. Um, again, I will continue with the series and, uh, explain the other cognitive functions as well. And, uh, yeah. So if you got any value off of this, give me a thumbs up, uh, for future content going in and subscribe below. And, uh, yeah, again, thank you for watching. See you next time.